So what we're going to do right now is have a read through primer number five. And um, this is a, sort of a compilation, not a compilation comic uh, that I have on my collection. Uh, this it, comic book is important because it's the first appearance of Sam Keefe's Max. Uh, Sam Keefe's Max. There's a few other stories here, but this is one that we're going to read. And for those of you that don't know, Sam Keith is one of the greatest comic book creators uh, in history. He's worked on basically every comic book uh, publishing company that I know of anyway. Uh, all the majors he's done, he's done artwork and stories for some of the, you know, some of the top characters that you would have hold, uh, you would have heard of, some of the most famous characters. But Max is his creation. And it is an amazing story, amazing character. And for those of you that know animation, uh, you'll know that there was a Max animated series in the 90s that was absolutely brilliant. Okay. Now, this is issue number five of Comico's Primer. As, again, it's a compilation uh, series that you know a lot of independent publishers put out to introduce new characters and new artists. Um, issue number five and the issue number two of Primer is something else that we're going to read through as well. And this is the first appearance of Grendel, Matt Wagner's Grendel, and a huge character, absolutely brilliant character, and an assassin, um, which has developed over time and it goes into the future and the past. And it's, it's very good, it's brilliant stuff. And we'll have a read through this at another time, uh, Comico number two. But right now, what we're going to do uh, is read. Comico number five, and specifically, you know, we'll flip through it, but just read Sam Keith's Max. And if you like um, amazing artwork, unique artwork, you should definitely be checking out Sam Keith's work. It's uh, it's one of a kind. No one touches him. And this character, uh, the Max appearing in this, is a little different than the final product of the Max that came out, uh, but it is the first appearance and. Uh, it is a historical piece right here as far as grades go for this issue i actually have two copies of this let's grab the other one i have another one here as well and this one is a better shape at least you know one or two grades higher actually a couple of grades higher than this one so what we're going to do we're going to use this as the reader one and this one we're going to keep as is and i'm probably going to be framing this comical primer number five and two together in a frame um, with creatures of the id i like creatures of the id as well creatures of the id being uh, the first appearance of uh, madman so let's crack this one open and uh, have a little read through it as grading goes um, not sure if you can tell top here has been nicked a little bit and it's got a little bit of creases in here the edges are not bad right. lays very nicely flat okay so let's have a little flip through this let's see what we got Again, it's black and white. Oh, Matt Magner, editor. He has a little note here. Let's check out the fine print. Primer, volume one, number five, is published four times a year by Comico, the comic company. These guys were Pennsylvania, Norristown, Northstown, Pennsylvania, and this was published uh, in 1982. There's a lot of great comics that came out in 1982. Okay. So let's see what this says. Uh, let's read uh, Matt Wagner's little notes. Well, here we are again. Issue number five's, five's back, packed full of 
real good stuff so let's take a look our cover was done by will brown will brown did the cover beautiful cover yeah. whose story mime mime recently appeared in epic <coughs> it's executed in a very interesting uh it's executed in a very interested technique wood burning will burns his drawings in into wood into wood and glazes the color over top also appearing is an early story by will cyborg rock so this is a wood burning very cool man and here's will's uh story cyborg rock we'll just flip through that one though we won't read it in addition we have max the hair by sam keith and i am sure readers will will be asking to see more of both artists and character sam is a pr promising talent both dynamic and innovative that is probably the most underrated statement about sam keith's work um innovative 100 percent dynamic oh my god but wow his work is mind-boggling like if you get a chance pick up some of his work okay repartee by chris Wendell and aj mclogan is actually <coughs> a lead in to another story they're working on for a future issue of primer dealing with the dr ed spoon stealth by mark lands is also a lead in mark tells us he's working on a long tale of the moody mysterious assassin but not least we have andrew murphy's exciting and ever improving work on victor keep watching as andrew continues to weave the tale of victor in every issue of primer hmm. i guess this is victor right every issue of primer wow didn't know that well that's about all for this issue be sure to grab up the next issue as we reveal comico's hottest new property Evangeline well Evangeline I wonder if that has to do with something with the animation I doubt it farewell for now Matthew Wagner editor Andrew Murphy assistant editor cool <coughs> so this is Victor I guess this story is being told every issue flip through this This actually looks like a Zot, not a comic book. Wow. Fighting. the hair this is the one we're gonna lead, read but let's flip through it let's go through the whole book right now and then we'll come back and read this early sam keith work wow oh yeah sam keith lettering stuff the end of the story so we'll come back to this cyborg rock ah cyborg rock is a rock concert cyborgs oh mature readers i guess is it mature readers no no mature readers sign on it Sort of reminds me of heavy metal magazine stuff. Oh. Subscribe. There's
Where's Grendel? Stealth. This is a quick story. Should we read stealth? Let's read a stealth one. His name is Ed Byron. Byer. Her name is Annie Mahorik. They're in love. His name is Stealth. He's not. What he is, however, is a hitman. A very good hitman. He is, at present, commissioned to eliminate Ed. Poor Ed. Ed, you see, has been working his way through law school as a Steve Doer. As a Steve Doer. I don't know what that is. As a Steve Doer. I quit my job today. So soon? Well, well, I figured I needed a little time off before I started work next month. Can you afford it? Sure. I still have enough in the bank for a month or two of unemployment. Two days ago, it was his misfortune to see a top union official bribe a federal inspector. Stealth was already on the union payroll. So? I figured we'd be able to spend more time together. If you don't mind, that is. Oh, he's in love. Let me think of it. Let me think it over. No, I don't think. I don't mind too much, Mr. Bayer. Very democratic of you, Miss Miss Mohorik. But seriously, I want to spend a lot of time with you. Annie, I love you. Will you marry me? I'd love to. Oh, the assassin has a smile on his face. It wouldn't be too much of a problem to convince his employers that his hit was unnecessary. Even, even if there was a problem, stuff would see that his gift would last a lifetime. Hmm. Written and drawn by Mark Lance, inked by Matt Wagner. Cool little story. I haven't read any of this. And Mage, wow. Matt Wagner's Mage, absolutely brilliant. It's a series that he's done a fair bit. It's his own series as well. And Grendel, first color, appeared in Mage, I believe. So, let's go back and have a read through Sam Keith's Max the Hare. Sahir, midnight. Cold, dark eyes peer from behind the stone pillar. A sleek figure slightly waits in the shadows, poised. Poised to kill. Oh, there is Max. He just blew away this guy. And he looks a lot different than the new uh, revamped version of Max that came out after this. Name Max. Occupation Mercenary. Objective The assassination of a dictator. Genus Lepus. I guess that's what. 
rabbits belong to the hare, Pippus. He hops around. For lest you haven't noticed, our hero happens to be a hare. Max is not afraid of anything. That's the beauty of Max. Beautiful panel work, no? Early work, 1982. Blood. Oh, who's this guy? Another one, Sire. The second. Tracks. Max's tracks. And what arrogant being is this who dares to leave tracks? in the eyes. What was that? It's gone. Who? What's gone? A rabbit. Where's Sir? Oh, over here. Max was successful. He killed the dictator. Wasted them. Look at this. Crash. Quick, the North Tower. Trap him at the top. Is there any way out? Just one, but it's locked. That's the first appearance of the Max. Cool. Let's put this in the bag. 